Yesterday, the Israeli prime minister called for a crackdown on pro-Palestinian uh, protesters in the United States of America. Do you find this to be a gross, uh, you know, I mean, a galling interference in American affairs? Well, Said, um, I will leave it to the Prime Minister's office to oh. offer any clarification on his comments, but I uh, don't believe he called for a crackdown. He, uh, he, let me he, just he literally say, called though, for a crackdown. That, he literally uh, called for a, tra a crackdown. Let, let's, uh, be, let's be real about the facts, Said, yeah. which is that um, in the uh, aftermath of October 7th, uh, we are very much seeing a surge in anti-Semitism across right. the world. Do you reject? the fact that a foreign leader is saying that the, the, the demonstrations ought to be put out, ought to be cracked down upon? That's what I'm asking you. Do you reject that? So, I mean, do you, you reject uh, people, uh, I mean, you reject the, the U.S. government cracking down on peaceful demonstrators, correct? Correct? So you, I, reject, you reject that? I mean, this is part of what America is all about. I'm asking you, do you reject the interference of a foreign leader calling for the crackdown on full American citizens exercising their basic rights, their First Amendment right to demonstrate. That's Look, what I'm asking you. Uh, the prime minister was commenting on something, hap something happening in this country. I will say over the course the of this- minister, I I'm asking you. You are, you, know, you are here representing the government of the United States of America. Do you reject the interference of a foreign leader saying that you must crack down on Americans exercising their right to demonstrate. It's a very simple answer, a question. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't equate that to interfering, Said. It is someone saying something. Don't you uh, feel offended by the fact that a foreign leader is trying to fan the flames against Palestinian Americans in this country? That's exactly what he's doing. You don't feel offended by that? Said, that is not how I would uh, interpret the prime minister's comments, and I'm, I, I defer you to his office to offer any clarification.